morning, good afternoon. We got them from all over the world. So I don't know, Michelle, is it evening in the UK from Australia? Hey, I'm Teresa Croft of the Kingdom Messenger Network. Just want to welcome you to this webinar. Many of you are live. It's always awesome to see that. And many of you are watching this recorded. So 6 a.m. morning on Friday. Bless you for getting up at 6. I'm getting the feedback of where uh, people are. They're all over the world, but it's at different times. 9 p.m. in England. Awesome. Well, let's pray, and we'll get right into the shift and share some great uh, ideas for you for today. Well, Father God, I just thank you. What an honor it is, Lord, to, to come into your presence, to do this uh, recorded and live, a uh, simulcasting on radio, uh, two different videos, a, a, a webinar. Lord, I just, I just thank you because I have no doubt that technology was on your mind as you told us to go to, into all of the world and preach the good news to speak your word. So, Father, I thank you. I pray that all the technology will work and we'll have no more audio problems. And, Lord, I just thank you that it is such an honor to proclaim your name, to release a word, Lord, that I know is from you. And it's not about me. It's about you, God, showing up and making yourself strong. Maybe someone today watching this live or recorded needs to be encouraged that you, God, have not forgotten them, that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Maybe someone in this room that needs comfort, reminding them that the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Maybe, Father, just someone needs to realize they need to turn back to you. I thank you that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, Lord, we pray to have your way. Lord, let the words that come out of my mouth be the words that you have revealed to me to be able to put your messengers into that shift of provision, of uh, harvest, of being able to go forward like you, Father, have set them apart. You've called them princesses and princes, assigned to royalty, ambassadors of you, God, not pa paupers of fear in a fear-controlled world. Thank you, Father, and we bless you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. Well, welcome. Uh, just really delighted that you could join us, whether that's live or recorded. I'm Teresa Croft. I'm co-founder of the Kingdom Messenger Network. Uh, just really delighted to share with you some about the shift. Uh, maybe giving you some trending tools online so that you can speak, that you could share your message, and then just providing some services, some help for you. Um, I have been in professional golf. I've gone from a professional golfer to working at uh, and working in TV, working at a Christian radio station. I see Susan Cook, who we worked at the same radio station. Actually, I think she still does. Uh, I've spent 23 years plus in media, uh, from radio to video to online marketing. Just really passionate to see people be able to use tools to spread their message and uh, the bottom line here is it's not about us kingdom messenger network it's really about you and that's where i'm so passionate to speak i call myself a life speaker because i want to speak life into people i want to have something good to say and the passion and on my heart has been working my vineyard that's just a term God gave me two years ago. In fact, uh, the, the idea of this, of being able to connect with people, be able to have a website where it draws people. And uh, it was funny because I was really struggling with that about two years ago. You know, is this where you want me, God? You know, I was trying to work with businesses, which I still do, and just trying to find myself, where do I belong? And God spoke to me about the media mountain. And then he spoke a real cool word to me because I really love vineyards. And he said one day, he says, yeah, what you're doing online with your media can be your vineyard, Teresa. Go at it. I didn't even tell my husband that about that. And all of a sudden, he started calling me his fruitful vine. 
<laughs> so hey, God is so awesome. And this is where it's about. It's not about us. It's about you. We want to see people like you rise up, take the shift and walk in the sweet spot in the vines, where I call that of divine design, not living your life by default, but in the vine of your destiny. I believe even yet while you were in your mother's womb, you had God put a passion, a vision, a call into your life. And he wants you to go with that. And so often we get beaten down by fear and what the world says and what our family says. That so often we feel discouraged. We feel like we haven't reached that place. So that's where our passion is. The KingdomMessengerNetwork.com has two mandates. One, you have a message. We help you spread it. Two, you have a purpose, a reason, and we equip you to fulfill it. One of the ways we do that is with the Word of God. Firebrand Table Talk, every Friday night, we go to the world from our kitchen table. I mean, I really say the world because we got Michelle in Australia, Nora in the UK, find out all over the world. So we have two kids, so, you know, we go to the world. We just don't get on a plane. But we want to equip people to fulfill it, and that's where in the vine. You know, we want people to, to be in the vine, in the sweet spot, and no better way to show that than with the Word of God, based on John 15, in the vine. Uh, this webinar, I want to encourage you that it's not just about methods. You know, I, we could talk about, take this whole hour and talk about Kind of, if you were here early and saw that interview, talk about all these great tools, and and that they are good, they are amazing, but we're not just about methods. We're about kingdom principles, because I believe as you align some great tools, technically, technology, and align them with a business or a biblical principle, which is most good business is a biblical that we can be something of aiding you on. And like I said, not just about methods, but about speaking life into you. See, I believe you have a message. And you may be Joe the plumber to Susie the salesperson. You have a message. Your message, some of you, your message might be wrapped up in your product, your service, your kingdom business, your ministry, your vision, your calling. You have a message. The amazing thing, whether you're a salesperson, a plumber, or you've got that product or service, the most amazing thing is in your DNA, what the experiences you've gone through, there are people who need your message. You're going to be able to speak to them. Some of the, you, Someone watching this recorded, that just is like a new thought. They're just like, well, I just have a job. I don't have a message. Yes, you do have a message. Let me speak to you. You've gone through something that's going to help someone else. Like, um, I've got a brother in South Carolina, a brother in the Lord, and he feeds the homeless, plus he has a a recovery group. He can speak because he's been there. He's recovering from drugs and alcohol. Someone else may have a product that has to do with health, weight loss, and you've lost lots of weight. You have an audience think you're getting the idea. Someone needs your message today. And the reason I say today is the world gets darker, you're going to get brighter. Because people are going to get to a point of their pain being um, a pain point, and you're going to have the solution. Yeah, we know the solution ultimately is in Jesus Christ, walking according to his principles. But you're going to be able to reach someone with your voice, with your writing, with your book, with your song to get them into a place where the seed's been watered and they'll come to know Christ or they'll come to realize that you have an answer. Are we tracking here? Are you getting me with me? Someone say, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm getting needing some feedback. The shift revelation, the Lord speaks to me in acronyms and thank you. And, uh, David and I have such a, pass, a passion to see messengers be equipped, be free. Uh, we want you to be walking in health and wealth. Wealth not just being money, but health, uh, freedom, restoration in your families. Uh, Dave has a real passion to see people grow in the Lord, an incredible discipleship every day, whether on the phone or Skype. 
We, God brought us together almost 20 years ago. We'll be married 17 years. And we, when we came together, God gave us the three M's. And that is our mission is to minister to the messengers. And this is just one way. Very passionate about that. And God in the last three years has really propelled us forward. But I say all that to say, uh, I've been asking God to give me wisdom and just really asking, you know, saying, God, show me more about the kingdom of God. And, you know, it says in the word to ask for wisdom and, you know, he's going to give it. Instead of trying to get it from somewhere else, I was like at this point where like, Lord, I want to hear what you have to say. So this word shift actually has been, uh, God gave this to me almost three months ago. It's been about two and a half months. And he told me not to release it right away. And, you know, being obedient, I didn't. It was just marinating in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, whatever message someone has, it's usually out of their life experiences. And I'll tell you what, this uh, shift, S-H-I-F-T, has uh, gone to, I mean, God has really worked some things in me. So one reason I'm really glad still to have this is because I, you got to keep me in track, so I might get excited, and I'll try to talk s- slow. So if I'm talking too fast, Harriet or Michelle, just say, slow down, Teresa. Because, see, I'm passionate about this word, because I believe this word is for you, because I believe you're in a position where you know there's more, and you're ready for a shift. Let's go through. Shift. The keys to that shift. S starts with stay clinging. We're going to get to the methods. Someone's here saying, wait, I want to learn the latest on uh, the Internet. We'll get to them. Just bear with me, okay? Someone may be watching this recorded. If I have to divide it up into two 30 minutes, I will. Bear with me, though. I want to get you to the shift. So when we talk about spreading your message, God will release something inside of you. Shift, S-H-I-F-T-S. Stay clinging to the vine, the vine being Jesus. So basic, out of John 15. He says, I am the vine, or my father is a vine dresser. I mean, I could stay here and talk for an hour about living in the vine, about a vineyard and correlating, operating a vineyard to what the way God is so gentle and taking care of us. But the bottom line is this, as we stay clinging, to the vine other than someone or someone else there comes the life source see as jesus said apart from me you can do nothing but as you cling to the vine if you really dig through john 15 one of my favorite chapters in the bible you see the amazing blessings of abiding in him yeah there will be times of being pruned at a heart but that's so you can bear more fruit so this is the starting point of the shift and it has to start with Jesus and that intimate relationship with you with him you know I've learned a lot from my 15 year old daughter and my son for that matter and I've been walking with the Lord for many years and in the last five six months I've learned this intimacy with the Lord that I actually am learning from my kids and that's how to enter his presence with praise and worship praise as Dave says breaks the bar asunder worship destroys the strongholds as i've wanted to get free of the strongholds in my life fear and anxiety and even some health issues i've learned to enter in a new place in clinging to the vine once again you can be a messenger assigned to royalty not a pauper locked in a prison of fear start at that s stay clinging to the vine h See, I love it, how the Lord just kind of, oops, sorry, let me go back. H is just, God just kind of keeps bringing this message into me. It's health to harvest. Um, Just to get real personal, on the health side, uh, I I used to be um, a, a chubby little girl, so I know what it's like of having a health issue that has to do with losing weight. So I understand health. I don't know why that's going back and forth, but let me try to share here. 
Health to harvest. <laughs> Keeps one going for you forward. Um, I'm trying to give you a little testimony, so I'll, on the recording I'll just kind of flip that out, but I don't know why it's going back and forth. It doesn't want you to hear about the health to harvest, so we would just keep going. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say about the health, um, I know what it's like to have to lose weight. I, um, uh, I struggled with my weight as a young person and actually helped me to... Um, grow closer in my relationship with God. Now recently in the last uh, how many months, six months, I've had some other health issues that had to do with my thyroid. So my health on the shift is you've got to get a place of health to be able to handle the harvest. And you know in the process of trying to find some things uh, to help, let me see if I can pause this because that's really, ha I'm having troubles tracking with it. Um, David, you know, has been praying for me, but uh, in the process of praying and looking, he we kind of found something, and we were really attracted to it because of, of the of the health issue of my thyroid. I have an inactive thyroid, and um, I guess I, what I say is, there's a harvest, and it's got your name on it, but we got to make sure we have healthy messengers. For some of us, we have to lose weight. For some of us, we have to take care, better care of ourselves. Like, excuse me, I'm going to drink some water. As my, as my missionary family comes in. It's the Martins entering the house. Okay, sorry. Evangelist Nellie. And uh, I call them Nellie and Jelly. Anyway, the Martin family is here. Praise God. So, are you tracking with me still? There's a harvest, and we have to be healthy messengers to walk in that harvest. So, one solution, and, and I've mentioned it to Michelle, um, I can't wait to get on the full effect, and I will talk more about it. Because all of a sudden, when you have a problem, all of a sudden you become very passionate about finding a solution. And uh, kingdommessengerhealth.com is an, like an info video. But we'll talk more, maybe in another webinar about that, because I can't wait as I drink my water <laughs> and uh, do what I'm supposed to do and get, have a good testimony for you. My mom was here last week, and Teresa, drink your water. That's my imitation of my mom. And she got really concerned, though, because I've, I've just had to shift with my, um, my age. I turned 50. Uh, just uh, last month, and I want to be young and able to uh, enjoy my children. Did you see that on Facebook? I, I did a picture of uh, Joyce Meyer throwing a Frisbee, and she turned 70. Wow, that is just like, whoa. That's, I, you know, I don't want to miss that. I want to be, be vibrant. I want to take care of myself. That's the H. The other H is, has to do with harvest, and the harvest is what you're going to look for. And sometimes you see it, have to see it with spiritual eyes. You understand? I mean, sometimes the, the harvest is so great, but all you see is nothing. Or you may, like my husband has a garden, and he works hard out there. And he's had to deal with torrential rain and rabbits. So he's had to work a little more to stop with the rain. He's had to uh, figure out ways to get the rabbits to stop eating his beans. They've already eaten half of it. Why am I sharing all that about my husband's garden? Because you have a harvest and you've opened the gates. It may just be unforgiveness. It may be a blatant sin. And you've let some bunnies into your garden and they're eating your harvest. So you got to close the gates to sin to walking according to your way instead of God's way. As you close the gates, as you do your work and till your garden, I really believe that there's going to be this shift has to do with the time of a transfer of wealth where God's just waiting. He's looking for his messengers. He says, okay, they can handle it now. Because when I'm talking about harvest, I'm talking about the kingdom of God. As you know, the kingdom of God, its design and frequencies and dimensions are not of this world. So when I'm talking harvest, I am talking about amount of great amount of money for the gospel, for your message. 
I'm not talking about a small amount. I'm not talking even, no, no spirit of poverty. What God has called you to do, he'll more than enable you to walk there. It may be a dry and lean time. In that dry and lean time, let God purify you. Let God get the bunnies out of your garden. Let them shore up some walls. So when the torrential rain comes, you'll be like the wise man in Luke 6, verse 48. What did he do? He obeyed the Lord, and he had a sure foundation. Hey, Mom. Mom just joined us from Seattle. God bless you, Mama. So he had that sure foundation. So when the torrential rain came, his house didn't get washed away. I think that's what the H is. Get your vessel, the temple. You are the temple of the living God. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is alive in you. So that means for me, I say, thyroid, you got to line up. If I'm going to give a little help, we'll give you a little help. Harvest. It's part of the shift. <laughs>